Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of the podcast with the return by popular demand of the special guest star. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, it's Jacob, Jacob Powers, nice to see you. The energy healer, Mr. Jacob. Um, Today I wanted to ask Jacob a little bit about uh, a topic that is like important for me because it's uh, something that I need uh, and it's actually grounding, becoming grounded in this reality, in like nature, in uh, you know like, well I'll let him talk about it, why don't you tell me what grounding means to you Jacob? Grounding is the embodiment of one soul, it can it connects us to the earth and lets us be one. Um, grounding is very important when it comes to embodying oneself and makes um, and makes all things living understand you more. Mm. If you can ground, um, just like anything, um, it's really important that you know the specific type of grounding you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Can you can you tell us a couple of the different types? Um, there's one with the earth. There's one with water. Mm. Um, the sun, of course, and then there is also the air. Mm. There are four different types of grounding, but my favorite is the earth mm-hmm. because um, I'm really good at it. I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know you had uh, like there are techniques for becoming grounded, and I know you have you showed me uh, one in particular for grounding yourself. I guess it's with the earth, right? Yes. So you, why don't you just uh, explain that a little bit? What what a person can do? Um, well, basically, all you have to do is bend your knees, keep mm-hmm. your back straight, and keep your head up. Um, picture your your energy coming down from your head, and um, basically come. Coming down from your head and um, going from your head to your shoulders, Mm -hmm. to your waist, Mm -hmm. to your knees, and then from there down through your feet. Mm -hmm. Keep them at least this far off the ground, Mm -hmm. but basically into the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The energy is going going that deep into the ground yes yeah okay and that's known as grounding Uh uh-huh so so if a person does this and say how often would you recommend a person who's trying to become more grounded you know and they're just getting started something like this how often should they get down with that well first they should start with about let me see here like say like once a, a week or something no 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 um they should do it every day okay um, it doesn't matter what time of the day you should do it, mm-hmm. but I would suggest early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Once you get more le- um, more grounded, mm-hmm. I suggest um, you putting something heavy in your pockets. Mm-hmm. Like if you're wearing pajamas or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I would suggest cans, mm-hmm. like if you have pockets in your pajamas. Right, like soup cans. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Once you get to a higher level. Mm-hmm. And then maybe... Um, after you reach that, maybe get something heavier, mm-hmm. like um, some rocks. Mm-hmm. Put those in your pocket. Cool, man. And so this is going to help a person feel more grounded with the earth. Because the earth has like all sorts of natural energies to it, doesn't it? And this is sort of allowing you to tap into those and use them as like tools for yourself. Use them as uh, beneficially for yourself. Everything we have is a tool. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's how we use it. It's like an extension of our body. Mm. We we must appreciate what we have and what we do, mm-hmm. no matter what it is. So be thankful for the grounding that you do. Mm-hmm. If you're going to start out um, with anything, I would give thanks to a lot of things, mm. um, specifically trees, mm-hmm. and also um, some other things like the sun. and. Um, when you're starting out, I would suggest you bow from the east, then the west, then the north, then the south. Mm-hmm. So these are kind of more techniques for becoming more grounded. Um, cool, man. A little cat just came by here to say hi to us, I guess. Um, well, Jacob, why don't, why don't you um, sort of tell us, 
what grounding kind of has done for you, man, like in your life. Like I know I can speak a bit about it and then uh, then you can uh, take it up. But for me, yeah. it's, uh, you know, grounding makes me feel more like I'm in this present moment, this present reality, because there's so much distractions in this life that the more grounded, and we're using this word a lot, um, you could also say like um, present, you know, uh, even just like alive right now but it just it really helps you to uh, stay secure in, in this time you know why don't you fire a bit off on that well grounding is specifically found for making oneself at peace mm -hmm. and relaxing one's body mm -hmm. and mind body and soul um, it creates embodiment for everybody no matter who you are mm -hmm. and um, allows you to focus on oneself, let alone others. Mm -hmm. If you create an embodiment of peace, then you you can help others find the embodiment right. of peace. Right, right, because you kind of like are, you, you don't like be, or you don't like do peaceful things, like you are peaceful, right? Like you, you are, you don't do. Exactly. Right. Um, sometimes if you're ever using one of your abilities for people who are more experienced. Mm, and, and describe that abilities. What, what would you describe that as? Um, like healing abilities. Mm -hmm. It's always good to ground oneself mm -hmm. when you're using. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like if you're ever doing like reconnective healing or mm -hmm. anything like that, mm -hmm. um, basically ground yourself first so that you don't take on Mm. any of those disorders or yeah because or, yeah or even reiki yeah because when you do grounding for when you do uh, energy healing for me i noticed and i've even like jacob's come by and i've like gone inside to put something away and i'll come outside and before he even sees me i'll i'll catch him like grounding himself so he's completely congruent in what he does. Like he's grounding himself and he doesn't even know I'm there. So he's still adhering to these same principles, right? And he's like, tell, tell us what you do because you do something, uh, you kind of absorb energy with your hands from the earth, right? Yeah, well, you can do that. That's not really grounding, but it's sort okay. of a technique to absorb energy so that you're feeling more pure and mm. happy, I guess. So. Yeah, so you're just basically absorbing that energy right out of the earth and then you're blasting it like right into my system kind of mm -hmm. when you do healing for me. Well, I actually don't do that for that purpose. Mm -hmm. I do it because I run out of energy sometimes and okay. I need to absorb it to be more secure. Mm. And you love being secure. I know I love being secure. Yeah. Just, just super secure. It's the greatest. Um, that's awesome, man. Well... Um, what have you been up to otherwise? Do you know? Do you have you been doing any learning anything new about spirituality or anything, any new uh, techniques or anything like that? Um, not lately. I've been embodying my own self. So basically, mm -hmm. I've been trying to focus more on my behalf and just mm -hmm. relax a little bit because sometimes you just need to relax and yeah. take a day off or a week off. Yeah, Do doesn't matter who you are. No, that's everybody a needs a break. That's a good point, man. And, um, you know, whenever you, because there's a lot of people out here that are listening that have like stressful jobs or they, you know, they're, they're dealing with a lot of like, uh, they got high profile positions or whatever. And, um, I know when I see you do your stuff, whether you're meeting with people or whatever, it always seems to me that you're, you treat your life and your days as if you are a high profile individual. Like I see Jacob go down the road and it's like, he's a damn, uh, fucking financial advisor on Wall Street like he's just busy man he's like I got people to meet I got things to do like blah 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 so uh, how, what do you do man like to keep yourself chilled in that environment um usually I like to meditate oh, meditation yeah. is a form of embodying one's soul and one's mind hmm. to focus on one's behalf is one of the most important things you can do mm -hmm. um, no matter who you are Mm. If you um, if you can meditate, it's really good for like um, just relaxation, mm -hmm. right? Well, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. 
Relaxing is one of the most important things you can do when you're a spiritual person. Mm. And um, no matter who you are or what you do, it's really important that you embody one's soul and one's mind mm. to feel how people feel. Mm. Right? Yeah. If you're going to meditate, you have to, you have to um, not just relax, you have to surround yourself with that relaxation. Mm. Embody that thing. <clears throat> yeah, and to um, relax is just beautiful in itself mm. because you can sense everything around you. Mm. That's awesome, man. Well, Jacob, I want to uh, thank you, man, so much for coming on today. Is there uh, anything else you want to leave the people with? Uh, you know, any any advice, any any uh, exercises for the people to do until you come on next time? Um. Yeah, actually. Okay. Um, if you want to um, just relax and just focus, you can um, start grounding t today mm -hmm. or whenever you have the time and focus on that grounding. Mm -hmm. I would suggest if you're going to just start out, do it once a week. And um, if you have that possibility of just relaxation, it can be pure and... Um, Meditate every single day, mm. at least for five minutes, and mm -hmm. it will help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, sometimes that's all it takes is like five minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. No matter who you are, even if you're just starting out, just have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, fun, man. That's good, it is fun, man. Why not, right? Okay, man. And, and do you have um, anything anywhere you want to direct the people? Any, any YouTube pages or any uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, anything like that that you use? <laughs> Well, um, I'm just going to say this for the hell of it. Um, basically, um, one of my favorite YouTube pages um, in general is um, just for fun and stuff like that. And just uh, have fun and relax and stuff like that is uh, Smosh. Mm -hmm. Smosh is one of the funniest, most, mm -hmm. you know. What is pages. that? I've never heard of that before. It's um it's a comedy channel. Okay. Basically, um, they have these two guys, Ian and um, yeah. Mhm. Mm cool. Sorry. That's okay. So you just recommend people go on over there and check it out. That's what you do to to relax a little bit. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome, dude. All right. Well, thank. I want to thank Jacob for coming on today, man, and shooting off some information here on grounding mm -hmm. and meditation and all this type of stuff. And um, until next time, peace out, everybody. Peace out. See ya.